Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. I'm in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019, as you can see here, and I'm going to show you how to work with clipping paths like a champ, guys. I'll show you here, I've just got, uh, for example, I've, I just did this one up nice and quick. I'm going to show you how to use the basics to make clipping mats, and I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced techniques using compound path, which is actually very frustrating if you don't know what you're looking for because it doesn't seem very intuitive to me. So without any further ado, let's just get into this. I'm going to create a new object, a uh, new, <laughs> I'm going to create a new project. Let's use your words, Curtis. Come on now, buddy. Um, we're creating a new project. So if you want to follow along, feel free to do so. I'm going to use web large, which is under where you would find it here. But this isn't a real big deal because anything will do. I'm just going to hit create. Presto, boom, we've got this. Now I'm going to show you the basics of clipping masks, then I'm going to show you the more advanced stuff. So for the basics, let's just get right into this. Let's say, and this is very simple for demonstration purposes, I am going to draw a circle. I am holding down the shift key so that it draws symmetrically, just a pro tip in case you weren't aware of that. And then now I'm just going to move it over here and it's going to say center and boom, we've got a circle. So if you're following along, feel free to do so. Now the next step is you want to go to file place. Now I am going to place a image called stars and you guys can download an image anywhere. I just got this off pexels.com because it's free and there's no licensing voodoo baloney. So let's just go ahead and do that. When you click place, you're going to see something like this. And now I'm just going to place the image. So I'm just going to draw it out like this. And I don't know, something like that. Whoa, too far. Boom. Okay. Now I've dropped the image on it. All right. You still with me? Good, so we've drawn a circle, we've placed an image, I'm going to click off, and you're gonna see that this stars is on top of it. I'm gonna move it up a little bit just because the effect I'm going for is a little cool. So I just moved it up, again, I'm just on the black arrow. Now the next step is I'm gonna click on this here, the image. Now I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to arrange, send to back. What happens is, is now the image is at the back in the layer stack, You'll see it over here. Well, you won't. Yeah, you'll see it. So you'll see that the image is at the bottom and the uh, the circle is at the top. So we've sent the image to the back. Now, click on this circle, click on the image, and hold down the shift key. So they're both selected in this case. Now, on the right side, you're going to see something that says Make Clipping Masks in Properties. Really, just left-click on this, and that's it guys, that's how you make a clipping mask. It's very similar to Photoshop, but I'm gonna show you now the more complex, uh, the more complex clipping math masks that are not as straightforward because it can be quite annoying. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete this so we're starting fresh again. Now I'm gonna do this very, very quickly. This, this part, I'm gonna create a couple of circles. So I'm gonna create this circle. I'm gonna go over to the black key. I'm gonna hold down the Alt or the Option key and I'm gonna, move to the side. I'm going to now hold down shift and you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm just basically duplicating. Oops, I, for, I didn't hold down alt key before I did it. So I hold down alt shift, duplicate. No, come on, Curtis, you got this. Duplicate. Okay, let's, oh, I was duplicating. I just didn't check the stroke. Ha ha ha, guys, I know what I'm doing. I swear to God. First thing first, you caught me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give this a fill. I was like, what am I doing? I'm doing it right. Okay, left click on the fill. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a circle. I'm going to hold down the shift key so it's a symmetrical circle. Boom, now we got one. Now I'm going to click on it again as I just did there. I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option key. Alt if you're on the uh, PC, Option key on a Mac. And I'm just going to hold down the shift key so it's straight line. And now you're going to see that I'm duplicating the correct way. Oops, so I, oh, sorry, I'm just going to hold down the Alt, start moving it, hold down the shift key. And something like that. Okay, guys. Sorry about that little thing earlier. I didn't check. Rookie mistake. <laughs> I've been doing this all day. Uh, oops. So here we go. So I've got these three circles. And now I want that picture to be clipped into these three circles. And I'm going to show you the next step is I'm going to click on each of them. So I've got all three selected. I'm going to group them. This is step one. So now they're a group. So if I move them, they move together. Okay, great. They're a group. Now, here we go. This is the frustrating part. I'm going to click on them. I'm going to hit file. I'm going to hit place. I'm going to do the stars thing and the stars are going to go over top of them. Something like that again. Da, 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 da. Yeah, sure. All right. There we go. I've placed the image. I'm going to reposition it a little bit. 
like I did earlier. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to right click on this bad boy and we're going to arrange and send it to the back. Now, this is all good so far, but here is the crazy part that you're not going to like because it doesn't make any sense. Now, when I, I'm going to select them both, I've got the group selected and I've got the, the, uh, the image selected and I am going to make clipping mask and here we go, frustration. It doesn't work. This is the crazy part and this is the part that's kind of mental. So what you actually need to do if you're following along with me is you click on these guys. You want to go up to object and now where is it? It's down here. You need to make this into a compound path. This is kind of like we're working with uh, type and we're, we're turning them into paths. As a group, it doesn't work. Once you make it into a path, now it will work. We can put the final touches on. I'm going to left click on the image. I'm going to left click and hold down shift and click on the uh, three circles. And now I'm going to make clipping mask and presto. It works, guys. We've got the clipping mask. Now when I hover over it, you're going to see here that this is where the picture is. So if I double click, for example, I'm in isolation mode and I can adjust where the picture goes. So look at this. This is really, really cool effect. So if it's really important that this dude's in the picture and the waterfall, for example, I click out, bang, we've made a complex uh, path here. We made a compound path. We've got a complex clipping mask. And this is how you do it the right way, guys. Thanks for watching. I got a lot more stuff coming up. Be back soon.